Hi, this is Kelly with Homesome Girl, and today I've completed another coffee journal book. This is called Book of Coffee. It was a book that I purchased at a local thrift store. I purchased several, and I've made several coffee books, and this is my third one. So the journal measures seven and a quarter inches by six and three quarters inches and the spine is approximately one and three quarters, a little more. So I have a tassel on the side that I that I um, that I made with uh, trims and some sari silk and some ribbon and some lace. There's some charms. We have a five we have time, it's coffee time. We have a B, uh, I'm sorry, this is a G for good things, I assume. And then we have a little locket that shows some flowers. Anyway, it's hooked on to the side. I've uh, glued trim on the front. There's lace that covers the spine for the signatures and then the back some trim. I have sari silk that I have attached on the side for the bow. I just put two eyelets in, knotted the sari silk and made the tie bow. So the digital pages that I have used in here are Time for Coffee by Artie Mays, All About Coffee Sticker Series, those are the stick stickers in here, by Bella Bits and Buys. I have used Coffee Flashcard Set by the Old Design Shop, Images from the Pixiescrapper.com, Labels from Roxy Creations, and The Coffee Ephemera by Blackberry Sharp. So, I'm sorry, shop. So we open it up and I continued the trim on this side of um, the, the spine. We have a pocket here from the kit, the digital kit. A little die cut coffee with some tickets, paper flowers, some lace, a little collage down there. A digital print of a library card and I stamped on it, this book belongs to. I left the end pages in because they, it was in such good shape that, and I didn't want to cover up those coffee beans. So the first signature has a pocket from the kit. These are, this is an image of a stamp that I cut from one of the pages of one of the books. A little collaging, some lace, some eyelet trim stitched on the side of the scrapbook paper. We have a little envelope made from a digital floral print. Inside some uh, coffee stained paper for journaling space. And um, another cutout from one of the books. On this side, we have a flip pocket that has a little collage, some paper, it has a little collage on the front. This is Eden Holden, Edith Holden paper. We have a digital print, digital journal card, and a tag that has been collaged on the front, stitched around, and journaling space on the back. Here's a page from the book. And on these you can take some coffee dyed paper, color dyed paper, any kind, put over it and have more di um, journaling space or you can leave it there for interest. This is a coffee dyed coloring book page. Here I have some tracing paper that I've put a little um, tissue paper attached with 
glue. This is a page from a an old um, architect book. We have a pocket on this side with some washi tape, a little flip here for secret journaling space. This is an image cut from one of the books and I left the back as is but you can always cover it up to have more journaling space. We have some scrapbook paper here and on it I have a crocheted doily that I acquired at an estate sale. I have a little silk flower with some gold trim. Two this is a tag that's been a little collage, a label on it. It's been stitched on. Journaling space. Here's an image from the kit. A little washi tape on the back. Just tucked away. This side we have a fabric flip. And these are... Uh, Fabrics from a coffee collection, some trim stitched on the top. This one was pumpkin spice fabric. Some stenciling. This is ledger, uh, not ledger paper. This is uh, tablet paper that I had purchased at an estate sale. This is avocado dyed paper, and here's one of those stickers from Bella Bits and Buys. We have a doily here with a butterfly, a little pocket here. On the back is a coffee cup that I uh, cut from one of the from one of the books. Here is time for copy. Time for Coffee Digital print from Artie Mays, and I stitched some trim on the side. This is a, a uh, calendar page from 2004. Some music paper. This is uh, some ephemera from the Blackberry shop. This is wine dyed paper with a stamping of a coffee cup. Here we have some um, paper from a floral book. No, I'm sorry. This, this is from the coffee book. And we have some ephemera from the kit. And then this is an image from one of the coffee books. Again, I left the back plain but you can always cover it up with paper and make it more journaling space. Some trim that I've attached to the side. Here we have a clip of a coffee cup and a coin envelope from the digital kit with some stamped index card, a little flower paper, flower embellishment there, and we just attach it with what looks like a bobby pin. Some grid paper with a little washi tape, a page from the book. We have a bag here that has been collaged on the front, some doily, some book page, and inside is a postcard. It's an, it's, um, an older postcard. This is more digital page from that kit. I have a pocket here made from one of the pages of the book. So 
Well, I need to glue right there. But it is made into um, three pockets. So we have ephemera from the kit that we put in the back. Then we have this is an old place card that I purchased at a estate sale. And it's 3D because you can feel the flowers raised on the card. And then this is just a piece of ephemera from the kit. The back side of that paper bag. And I didn't do anything with it. You can cut it from the top or you can cut it from the side. You can embellish it. I left it as it is. This is a page from the book. The grid paper and on here is a little embellishment. This is an image from one of the books, writing, and um, ephemera. Here's a sticker from Bella Bits and Buys. Here's the floral paper, and here is an image from one of the kits, coffee and biscotti. Little trim put here. This is a little um, collage of ephemera, some foreign book page, and this is from the, the digital kit. Some music paper and here is some tracing paper that I have collaged on and just attached to the side. The back side of that calendar. The image from the digital kit. Some collaging. An image from one of the books. Lots of journaling space. Here I put part of a napkin on here. I glued it on and I did a little bit of stenciling around it. Here's a pocket, some more cutouts from the books and again I left them as is some washi tape on here on the pocket and um, another sticker. There's tracing paper I did a little stamping on which you can still write over. Here we have a see-through. It's an envelope that I have um, collaged around, a little collage down here. There is a tag inside with some lace. And this is a um, die cut. And it peeks through. And that's the first signature. And now we have the second signature. We have some flags that are holding an image of coffee beans been stitched around, tucked away, some vintage trim, some lace sewed on the side. This side we have a large pocket that is three. We have a die cut of a coffee cup. Here we have a large tag with some collaging on the front journaling space on the back. It's been stitched around. This is an image from the kit and another image tag from the kit. Here's a page from the book. Coffee dyed coloring page. This is a memo page that I got from an estate sale. Here's an old page from a crocheted a crochet um, instruction book. 
here I have a die cut that um, I pieced together for tuck space, a little collaging with a ticket on top. We have images from the digital kit tucked in. And a ticket. On this side we have a belly band made from a guest check. Stitched on it is one of the ephemeras cards from the kit. Here's an ephemera card a, and here's an old postcard that I collaged on the front and a die cut of a butterfly image of um, a ticket on the back stitched around for journaling space and tucked into the belly band. Some paper. I stamped lines on the back for writing space. Uh, this is coffee dyed paper and some washi tape on the bottom, a coffee filter with a little washi st sticker, here we have another belly band and this is fabric snippets roll with some coffee papers uh, stitched across. And here is an envelope from the kit and I left it empty for you to fill. I didn't embellish it. Some old paper. This is a recipe. This came from a recipe book out of my mother-in-law's stash. Some coffee dyed paper with an ephemera stapled to the side. This is paper paper for, uh, book page from the book with some trim attached. This is a coffee dyed paper that has some stenciling on it. Behind this is cardstock and I have um, vellum that I printed out a design. It's floral and I attached it to the cardstock to make a pocket. A vintage bingo card. We have a side tuck here that has been embellished with paper flowers and music paper and lace and uh, digital prints. In here we have two digital prints. Paper from the landscape book. This is um, scrapbook paper. Here we have old music paper with a floral napkin glued on. We have the center of the book of the second signature. We have a pocket here with some trim. Trim's been stitched on to the bottom of the card and in here we have a circle punch with a butterfly embellishment, some washi, no, some sari silk attached. We have a little envelope with a little um, embellishment and inside is some ephemera from one of the kits. And we have that just tucked away in this pocket. We have another pocket image from the kit. In here we have a tag that's been embellished. A sticker here. Some stenciling. Here we have three pockets arranged on this page and in the pockets we have uh, different things. So in this pocket we have a 
and a, um, a card with some embellishment on the front. We have, this is an image from the kit. And here we have an inventory tag that has a sticker and some twine at the top. Some more trim. Here we have a collage of little envelopes glued on to make a pocket and tucked in here is some more ephemera from the kit. Here we have a Tim Holtz pocket, a die cut pocket with many little tuck spots. So we have here an image from the kit of a mason jar. Some ephemera. Espresso word card. And a ticket. Some lace or eyelet trim, back side of that coffee filter, some washi tape on here, the weekly panner page, more of the ephemera that I made from the tracing or vellum paper, just stapled on. A pocket here with a label and a bird and inside we have a match box envelope and it has papers inside a variety and in the front is one of the images cut from one of the books I left the strings on you can cut the strings off And we are at the back of the second signature. So we have a large pocket. This is a cutout from one of the books. And in here, what I did was I took an image from one of the books and I just put a variety of different papers inside that you can either journal on or use to collage on in this journal. The back has some vintage lace that I purchased at an estate sale, an envelope collaged with different uh, images from, from the kits and the book, and inside I will have a journal, journaler's um, letter, a letter to the journal, journaler. Uh, tucked away in there. So this is my completed book, The Book of Coffee. Um, I enjoy making it. I love coffee. So to me this was much fun. I'll list it on my eBay store. I'll list it in my eBay store and I'll have that link down below. Thank you for stopping by and I'll see you in the next video.